Hi guys and welcome to Gist of TV, your home for everything entertainment and trending news. Subscribe to this channel and after subscribing there is a notification bell, the bell button. Click on that bell so you will not miss uploads when I have them for your viewing pleasure. Apostle Johnson Suleiman of the Omega Fire Ministry actually just narrowly escaped death as about seven persons including his police escort have been reported dead yes this happened in a those states this happened shortly after this man returned from a trip to tanzania popular nigerian prophet man of god apostle john Suleiman has been in the news severally for controversial things but this time this is a story of how he narrowly escaped with his life it is said that seven persons including three policemen and four domestic staff of this pastor were actually dead they were killed last friday um just this friday just i mean a few hours ago basically near auchi at the water tank junction along the waraki hauchi road on his way to auchi after returning from a foreign trip to tanzania so what happened was um it happened about 5 p.m it happened in broad daylight and a lot of persons have condemned it saying how can this attack happen at broad daylight and it is said that um it was it happened by some members of the ugm that they were the ones who did it that is the unidentified group of gunmen basically and according to eyewitnesses they said that the men were in a toyota avalon car and an ash colored sienna vehicle without number plates and they basically double crossed and block all the vehicles and tried they really maneuvered their way to meet Suleiman's convoy and open fire on him so some of these persons believe that this was an assassination attempt that you know basically failed because apostle is still alive but of course three of his police escorts are now dead they said that this vehicle has no number plate like i mentioned and they attacked the on homecoming convoy of apostle to Johnson Suleiman. His children, who were said to normally travel in a separate um, vehicle, that this just few hours ago, upon his return to Nigeria, decided to travel with their father in his car alongside his wife so that was like his whole family in that vehicle and the vehicle was targeted after Suleiman's vehicle, which was leading the convoy, escaped the suspected assassin. And that is they tried you know like I, let me just explain again now when Suleiman travels he travels in convoy yeah and he's always in a car his wife and children are in different car behind him but for whatever reason that just this time this one happened his, cho his children and his wife were within in his own vehicle but you know the assassins because they say this is supposed this is almost like a failed attempt at you know taking the lives of those persons um, targeted the vehicle that was behind Apostle Suleiman's vehicle because they believe that that is the one conveying his children and his wife but you know the vehicle that carried Apostle Suleiman which luckily carried his children and his wife escaped you know when he escaped they opened fire on the vehicle behind the legal advisor to the ministry Sam Amune confirmed the incident so this is not some hearsay on the internet and uh, this is what he said he said I think it is a case of assassination attempt because the assailants who were in an Avalon and Siena vehicles stopped other vehicles to reach opposed to Suleiman's convoy and they did not take anybody. The people just stopped and watched the drama on food he continued by saying that he just finished that is apostle Suleiman just finished a program in tanzania the day before yesterday that is the day before friday at uh, the day before thursday which would be tuesday uh flew to lagos and then to benin to, to his family where his family joined him his children normally drive in separate vehicle but this time they drove with their father while other domestic staff drove in their vehicle that is the vehicle the children would have taken he barely escaped death but the others were not lucky three of the leads would normally drive directly behind him and the next vehicle were not lucky it is very unfortunate to have lost these lives and of course the police public relations officer of the Edo State Komachi in Wabuzo have said that the attack on Johnson Suleiman was actually true and it is confirmed. He was attacked by Udlums yet unknown at about 5 p.m. He was attacked at 
home. As we speak, two of his drivers were murdered, three policemen murdered, one female house ape murdered, one is missing. And upon alarm, raced police moved to the scene, gunned down one of the hoodlums, and recovered one of the vehicles loose. Currently, the apostle is safe and sound. This is what they said. Now, following all of this, a lot of Nigerians have different reactions to this because there's been a lot of we thank God for his life going on on social media and saying that they are just grateful that the apostle is a beloved um you know prophet is fine although there's some controversies and people have different views concerning apostle johnson but of course his followers are there grateful and nigerians are saying people that are shouting this is gnc bright particularly he's coming for everybody shouting thank god for his life he says people are shouting thank god for his life but what about the policeman that died may god comfort their loved ones sunday elizabeth said so in get police where they guide him and later they will ask us to seek for god's protection Tenet Abath Machaya says three policemen were slain. God for mercy's sake, protect and guide all our security operatives in Nigeria. Policemen are trying to. Obina Onu is actually of the opinion that since police choose to protect high and might in the society, over general public, they will definitely remain vulnerable in the hands of criminal elements the pastor and bishops have armed security but the followers are protected by the blood of christ if the blood could protect him he wouldn't have taken armed security for his protection please get sent somebody is now saying that for them to be able to you know um take the life of police officers only odudua republic and biafra republic will save us all these are some of few of the reactions that is already on social media people saying different things concerning the um supposed assassination attempt on um this prophet apostle actually johnson suleiman this man um is a Nigerian televangelist and the senior pastor and general overseer of the Omega Fire Ministries with the headquarters in Auchi, Auchi in Edo State. Um, he started the ministry back in 2004. He's 51 years old. So he was returning to his base, basically to where his church is located, following the foreign, um, this thing he went to do in Tanzania when the attack happened, unfortunately. But of course, we are glad that this man is okay. And it's so sad that the the persons working for him, you know, the female staff, it's a scene, um, you know, lost their life. The policeman, we are so sorry that happened. And this man actually identifies fellow Nigerian pastor, Pastor Ino Kadeboye, the general overseer of the Regime Christian Church of God, as his spiritual father. Now, at the time that I'm giving you this report, other, you know, men of God and co have not said anything. Recall that when Minister Dunsin Oyekon had um, survived the ghastly motor accident, um, a lot of persons were really grateful to God for him, with, you know, several other ministers celebrating him. It was all over social media. But as at the time that I'm talking now, we've not had any of these persons say, anything concerning um apostle johnson suleiman but yes uh we are just grateful that apostle johnson suleiman is fine they have five children so if anything that happened to his children i mean any of it, he has you know a son and four daughters and his wife is lizzie suleiman so we're just glad that the children are okay they were fortunate enough to have stayed in their father's vehicle this time around probably because they even missed their dad it might not be something serious or something deep and that happened to be their saving grace but i want to hear from you in the comment section i've told you what some nigerians think some persons are saying that oh look at this man working with convoy and you know uh, police order and they're following him around and he's telling his church members to rely on god for their security others are saying that wow the lives of these men are just wasted and some other person is saying that we are just asking that they should thank god for his life because god spared his life but that is to the detriment of these police officers whose family have now suffered irreparable damage irreparable loss they have also have children that they would leave behind that they've left behind in this dirty dirty evil world but i want to hear from you in the comment section which of the school of thoughts are you in are you one for the oh thank god nothing happens to that very revered apostle are you of the opinion that also 
you know i just want to hear what you think basically i don't have a personal opinion here other than oh good we are just glad that tragedy major tragedy has been um averted even though so many other persons lost their life in the process and we pray that god will rest their souls and give their families the fortitude to bear this loss in this trying time i'll see you in the next video guys thank you so so much for watching this one and subscribe to this channel if you're yet to do so bye